Welcome back to another vlog. Today's actually the last day of my finals week. I have a final paper due tonight, and then once that's over, like, I'm finished. I'm finished, it's summer. Ooh, before that, I need to finish that final paper. It's for philosophy, I also need to start it. You can tell that procrastination is kind of a thing for me. With that being said, I'm gonna push that off even longer. Right now, I'm gonna go help my stepdad. We're building a vegetable garden by our house, and the huge, massive bags of soil have arrived. And of course, for the labor, he calls me. He wants me to wheelbarrow all of that cute, fun soil over into the vegetable garden. So he didn't have enough wood to make it all high like this. So we just made this section high. So my mother can garden in this section because she has bad knees and she won't be able to crouch down to this. We also have more of this netting stuff to put all the way down. Shoveling the soil into the wheelbarrow was definitely an arm workout that I wasn't exactly prepared for. Let me show you what's happening in our backyard. My mom's sitting out there with all the animals. You work hard, didn't you? It's so tiring. I'm sure you are. I put a better water for them. Hi, Yami. My cats always want to come outside, so my mom got this little tent thing from Amazon so that they could just sit out here and, you know, observe the birds and the squirrels and all that stuff. This is the brand. Lico. Lico. Doing that work in the garden did take a little bit out of me, so for a little bit of a boost before I do my schoolwork, I'm going to make myself a matcha. Sometimes I find that coffee just gets me too jittery, especially with the anxiety I already have. Like, it has me, like, bouncing off the walls like crazy, and sometimes upsets my stomach. So I found that matcha is, like, the perfect beverage to give me that boost, but it doesn't get me super anxious. I found this great brand, Tiangle, which sells matcha blends that you can make at home. They're kind enough to send me a package to try out and also tell you all about. So the fun begins with choosing what matcha blend I want. Um, typically, I've been going for the chai, so this package is running low. They also sell ginger and lemongrass. This is the peppermint, which is the one I wanna try today. At Tangle, they sell these shaker cups. They're super, super cute. And this is basically where you're gonna add your water and your powder and mix it together. So you don't have to do any whisking or anything like that. You mix it in here, and then you're gonna pour it into your glass. You can choose if you want it cold or hot. Typically, I do cold, so I add in some ice cubes. This matcha doesn't take a ton of time, like sometimes coffee does to steep and all that sort of thing. It's super easy, super quick, and I find that having it iced is quite refreshing. When it said matcha peppermint, I was worried it would taste like candy cane or something, and I was like, I don't know if that's exactly what I want, but the peppermint flavor isn't super overpowering. It's really just like a refreshing beverage um, with extra flavor. They've kindly provided me a promo code for you all to use. It's not an affiliate or anything like that. It's just for you guys to get some money off. It's Alexandra15. Again, thank you, Tiangle. I really appreciate the package. I love matcha, so this was honestly such a dream. But at this point, I think I've done all the procrastination I can possibly handle, so let's get into doing my schoolwork. The essay is finally done. I have a rat accompanying me. Thank you for your help, Sprout. And it's also dark out. Working that last bit in my bed was probably not the best idea, but my bum was getting so sore from sitting on just like a hard surface. I was like, I can't sit here anymore. So I ended up here. I think it definitely, you know, extended the process just a little bit. It was a little bit hard to focus, but we made it through. I can't believe it. Wow, I genuinely thought I was gonna be submitting this late. We have three hours left. Let me just show you behind the scenes. So of course I have like the PowerPoints from the class. The MVP, um, you know, gotta look up other options for grasp, gotta make my vocab bigger. And this was one of the papers I was reading and bib me coming in. I don't know how to do citations by myself without this. It would definitely be good for me to proofread again, but I think I'm just like over it. I just wanna submit this, like the thought of being done my finals and totally being done this year just oh it overwhelms me so i'm just gonna submit it look at this cutie she always likes sleeping between these two ottomans in the little crack spot there's a little bit of a gap in this vlog something very exciting happened and i made a whole separate video about that if you're not aware i currently have two rats and i added two more so i filmed that whole process 
One of the little cuties is just hanging out with me right now. Hi, baby. And the other one is roaming around my bed because she just couldn't stay still and she couldn't have a nap in here. She just wanted to explore. Hey, sweetheart. Hi. Look at how small she is compared to like my hand. Hi. I know some people aren't really into the rat stuff, so I'll definitely just link those videos down below. I'm gonna be going to the garden center and picking up some more stuff for the vegetable garden. So I'm gonna take you along and I'll give you a haul of everything we pick up. I gotta put you back in the cage. Look at how small she is. Okay, baby. There you go. You don't want, come on, go into the cage. Now I'm gonna grab the other. There you go, come on. I still don't have names for them. I'm just, I'm so indecisive and I never really know what to name my pets. So if you have any good names for these two little ones, please comment them down below. I'd really, really appreciate it. This is the current status of the vegetable garden. The soil's so dark because it was just raining for the past couple days. Very empty, very empty, except at the bottom, I picked up two strawberry plants, which I've had in the past and really loved. They did really well for me. These are the berry galore white, so they'll have white flowers and then obviously the strawberries. This is just a raspberry bush. You can see it's so prickly. I haven't had one of these before, so I didn't know how it would go, so I just got the one. I planted some pansies in our front containers with some English ivy and some of this perennial creeper. This is great for like ground cover, but I thought it'd be a nice like vining plant for in here. I wasn't sure what color pansies to go with, so I did this double shade of purple for one, and then I did white and purple on the other side. I'm really sorry if you can hear the wind. Let me show you everything that we picked up. We mainly got veggies to fill that vegetable garden that we made, but we also got a couple stranglers, a couple indoor things, and this massive thing. Let me just get this out of the way. This is a big English ivy, a climbing English ivy that's made for outside. If you can imagine ivies that climb up houses, that's basically what I wanna do, but I'm gonna trail it up our front tree. We couldn't just get like a regular inside ivy because it has to be really hardy and be able to stay in the winter months. So this is the one that they directed me to get. It was $20. Moving on to all the vegetables. We pretty much got two of everything. This is our first time with the vegetable garden, so in the future we might need a ton more, but we're kind of just experimenting right now. First First off, we have two of these cucumbers. I don't eat cucumbers. I don't know who in the household does, but my stepdad said to pick these up. I want to get some pumpkins. These are white pumpkins, which I thought was so cool. It says Pumpkin Lumia PVP. I got two of these, and then I got two regular pumpkins. These are sugar pumpkins. We'll see how big these ones get. We also got one of these butternut squashes, and then we got a couple tomato plants. On to the next little tray. We got some kale. I got two different types. This is a dinosaur black kale, and this is a red Russian kale. These are looking a little sad, kind of very sad. These are yellow sweet Spanish onions. We got two of these. We got two of these California Wonder Pepper Bells. These are both $5.99 each. I think most of the veggies were $5.99, which I don't know, I feel like that's kind of expensive. I haven't really bought veggies before, but I don't know, I feel like $5.99 sounds like a lot just for this. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, we got some romaine lettuce. One came in like this form from this brand, and then I also got little containers of it as well, just to kind of test and see. This is more of a big dense plant, and then this comes with four separate little cubicles <laughs> finally for veggies we have some broccoli again this is like the four pack they look very small i feel like it's just so cold they kind of look weak and not the best right now while we were there i also picked up this basil plant i really like this on pasta also basil is a safe herb for rats to consume so they're definitely gonna be having some of this i also picked up some seeds i really want sunflowers i always see them at the end of the season and they're just like massive in people's yards and i'm like so jealous so i got a couple packets i got the giant sunflowers there are a bunch of different varieties some were smaller but i was like i i want the massive ones so i got two packs of the giganteus and then one pack of the russian mammoth i just i'm just testing them out i don't know how different these are gonna get the giganteus says it'll grow 3.6 meters tall and the flower head will be 30 centimeters across that seems so massive and then the russian mammoth will grow to three meters or more 
That just seems like so insane to me to think of that. My stepdad picked up these two indoor house plants. These are aloe piranha, aloe assorted. <laughs> I don't know. This one has a pattern, which is pretty cool. And then this one's just plain green, but the edge little spikes are red, which is so sick. This one was $14.99, and then this more variegated zebra looking one was $17.99, which again, I think is so expensive. But he thought that it was cool because he hadn't seen these before. You wouldn't be able to pick these up at like Home Depot or Walmart. So this nursery, although it's expensive, he was like, you know, I won't be able to find them anywhere else. That's kind of how he justified it and said. In total, all of this was about $80, I think. Hi there, cutie. Okay, let me open the cage. Let me open. Watch out. Hi, sweetheart. Now that I've shown you everything I got from the garden center, let's hang out with the little girls. I want to feed them some treats off my hand so they get more comfortable with me and coming onto my hand and, you know, gain their trust. I got this pack of mealworms, so let me try to feed them one and see if they like it. You want this? Oops. I dropped it, but she took it. Let's try our other little girl. Okay, let's see if you like this. Ooh, okay, she took it. Usually, if there's something in my hand that they don't like, they just won't even take it. She's munching away. Be sure to follow my Instagram to see live updates of the rats. I post them on my stories a ton. And be sure to subscribe to see more vlogs like this and see the adoption vlog where I get the little girls. They're so small and precious and cute. Thank you for watching. That's just like the same color of the rats I have now, like Sprout.